the patient is going to be placed on intravenous fluids for the procedure. So I restrain the patient in sternal recumbency on the treatment table. I hold the patient's head against my chest with one hand and with my other hand I hold the foreleg firmly so the veterinarian can begin catheter placement. Using my hand that is supporting the foreleg, I use my thumb to roll the vein which causes it to raise the vein for the placement of the catheter. Now that the catheter has been placed, it is secured using elastoplast that has been cut into strips prior to placing the catheter. The veterinarian is now placing the infusion tube into the intravenous catheter. The fluid control is then opened to flush the catheter. The infusion tube is then secured with a strip of elastoplast and the leg is bandaged. The induction agent, which is our faxin, is administered intravenously. As the veterinarian is administering the induction, I provide re feedback regarding the patient's consciousness. The patient becomes more relaxed and the presence of the previal reflex becomes sluggish as the induction starts to work. The veterinarian then opens the fluid control on the intravenous fluids to flush the catheter after administering the induction. for intubation. I hold the upper jaw and the scruff at the back of the neck so the veterinarian can pull the tongue out and lower the bottom jaw. This is done so the epiglottis is clearly seen. Once the tube has been placed, it's secured with a tie. Once the tube has been secured, I move the patient into lateral recumbency. I now connect the endotracheal tube to the anesthetic breathing system. I inflate the cuff using the cuff syringe. Once the cuff is inflated, I turn the vaporizer on to 2% and check the patient's anesthetic depth and adjust accordingly. Once the patient
patient is repositioned for hair removal, I check the patient's anesthetic depth. I begin by checking the heart rate and the rhythm should be regular and consistent. I then check the patient's jaw tone and this should be relaxed. I then check the eye position. I check the before withdrawal reflex and then I monitor the respiratory rate.